What the heck? Hello guys, my name is Doak and I have a big announcement for you. And yes, it has a connection with these boxes. If you are a long time subscriber of this channel, you know that in 95% of my videos I've been painting with Moloto spray paint. My very first graffiti paint was Moloto and Moloto was even a sponsor of this channel for some time. Because of all of this I would like to say thanks to Moloto and especially thank you to the rooftop shop, my local Moloto store which helped me a lot during the last few years. This is a lot of spray paint. But don't think that I've got all this spray paint for free. Anyways, I'm here today to tell you that things are changing. And right now I would like to reveal the new spray paint sponsor of this channel. I'll give you a few seconds to make a guess. Did you recognize the boxes already? Great. It's Montana Ken. Right, Montana Cans is the official sponsor of this channel. I'm really happy about this. I heard a lot of great things about Montana and their products. But honestly, I never really painted with Montana Cans, except the ultra wide cans. <laughs> yep, so I guess that I'll need to do a little testing today. But before the testing, I gotta do some not so little unboxing. You ready to help me, buddy? No? Fine. I'll do it myself. So beautiful. I actually want to keep the boxes, but I want to get rid of this upper part. This way I see what's inside and I can move six cans at the time. Even more old friends. Even, even more friends. This one's tiny. What's inside? Ah, spider calligraphy effect. Nice. There are also some suspicious boxes which doesn't include cans. Such as this one. Okay. It's a hoodie. XXL stickers. I don't really know what's this. These are the biggest hello my name is stickers that I have ever seen. This one's heavy. Oh. This is heaven. This is a goddamn heaven. Wow. Just wow. Can bags. Winter gloves, more gloves, Montana face mask, Montana beach towel, scarves, eggshell stickers, t-shirt, another t-shirt, another, another t-shirt, sweater, headwear, mini bag, another sweater, sketchbook, bold markers and ink, fine liners, caps and acrylic markers. <laughs> Oh, 
There is only one thing I can say right now. Fuck yeah. Okay, so let's test this out. Montana cans in general have two types, two main types of cans. Montana Gold, which should be spray paint dedicated for artists. And then Montana Black, which should be something like the best spray paint for graffiti. In other words, Montana Gold should be a professional spray paint with a low pressure. And black, graffiti spray paint with higher pressure. That's the theory. Let's see the reality. I will start with the gold can. Shake it well as every single can in this world. First thing that I notice is that the wolf of the can is really, really soft which should be good for a professional spray paint. Okay, really nice. The control of the can is so soft and... Mm. Let's try the black one. Okay, this is a fat cap, definitely. <laughs> Hmm, let's try a different cap. For example, the level one cap. These caps are very well known in the graffiti world. Everybody loves them. So let's see. Hmm. Let's try it on the gold can. Whoa. This is very precise. Mm. And there you have it, my first serious experience with Montana cans. For sure I will need to paint a lot of pieces to fully understand what they are capable of, but the first impression is really good. However, I want to have a little bit more advanced first experience, so let's paint a piece. This is a pretty small wall, which will be a good test for the control capabilities of these cans. a different cap. This is a skinny cap, medium fat. Sounds like something what I might use right now. The opacity of the colors that I used so far is pretty good. These are not some harsh conditions or some problematic shades of color, but yeah, seems good to me. i 
I feel like there is one last piece missing, but before that... <sighs> Lunch break! Okay, because of the small dimensions of this painting, I will do the outline with, with Montana Gold, because this should be more like a, yeah, professional. We'll see. And being an outline, I'll also use the level one cap. Hmm, I need to get used to this a little. Try a different cap because so the original cap that comes with this can seems to be better, especially with these tiny thin lines. the problems in the beginning I eventually realized what cap I need to use and suddenly things were working perfectly guys so the piece is done and my extended first impression painting experience with Montana cans is finished too and I'm happy because the painting experience was really pleasant I didn't find any big problems however is this the best spray paint out there I can't really say that yet I gotta try it in all kinds of different circumstances but so far so great anyways thanks to Montana cans for believing in me I hope that you guys like the new sponsor of this channel and I hope you're gonna like the piece too I'm a little bit experimenting with my styles right now also I would like to say hey to all the members of this channel thanks for the support guys and if you don't know what I'm talking about check the join button below this video all right this is My local mall 
auto. Sst. Ah, hier. Oh Gott, das ist so ein Rostrido. Was? Wo bin ich ja wie so gesagt? Experience with Montana Cass. Cass.